team, Scrap Mazzle, visited the Rehab Institute of Chicago in Easter Seals to learn about biomedical engineering. One of the problems we learned about at Easter Seals is that paraplegics have trouble with controlling their wheelchairs. And at the Rehab Institute of Chicago, we tried a prototype of a head-controlled Wii game. That made us wonder if a wheelchair could be operated by head movements alone. Let's join our research team in the hospital while we discuss this very problem. I have a patient at Easter Seals who wants a wheelchair he can control, even though he's paralyzed from the neck down. Okay, that's going to be a tough one. I don't know if I can help you. It has to be affordable, too. I'd like to ask a technical manager if he has any experience with this. Matthew, would you join us for a moment? Hello, how may I help you? I have a patient that is paralyzed from the neck down. So he wants a wheelchair that somehow he can control with his head. I haven't looked at anything like this before. This presents an interesting challenge. I don't have any good ideas, but I do know some other engineers who work with stuff like this. Here, I'll give you their numbers. A couple of days later, Dr. Carlson meets Engineer Jack Strand at a pizzeria. Hello. Hi, I am Lucas, Jack's friend. I understand you have a patient that is interested in a head control wheelchair. Yes, I do. Well, I've just visited the Ecole Polytechnique Federale de la Sonne, or EPFL, where Swiss researchers are working on a brainwave-controlled wheelchair. The problem is, they're still under research and are not available right now. I visited the Rehab Institute of Chicago a few months ago. They demonstrated a Wii game controlled by head movements. Perhaps we could use similar technology. Good idea! Perhaps if we use Bluetooth and an accelerometer in which could, which could detect head movements? That, that's ingenious! How long do you think it will take us to build a prototype? It will take me a few days working with some colleagues at Decker Labs. I'll call you and tell you when it's done so I may bring your patient to, the te to test it out. Thanks. We join our team at the Decker Testing Arena. Welcome, Dr. Carlson. We're so excited to show you the prototype. Hello again. Please meet my patient, Luke. I'm very excited about this. It's nice to meet you, Luke. Do you mind if I ask you how you became paralyzed? Not at all. When I was 23 years old, I fell 50 feet off the ladder while I was spinning the Trump Tower. I broke my back and I've been in this wheelchair ever since. Thank you for telling me that, Luke. So, is, how is this going to work? And is it affordable? Yes, it is. The parts, not including the wheelchair or labor, are $240. Our technical manager, Matthew, has been hard at work on this prototype. Prototype. The accelerometer sensor is on this headband controller which you are going to wear. This controller speaks to the wheelchair through a Bluetooth connection and the accelerometer positions the wheelchair. The accelerometer detects its own movements and the data is sent to the wheelchair's computer brain which copies the movement. Here, I'll do a demonstration. This is the remote. It talks to the NXT on the wheelchair through Bluetooth. This is the accelerometer sensor. I can make it go forward. I can make it go backwards. I can make it turn. That's cool. Can I try it? Sure. I like it. I'll take it. This can help lots of different people. Not only people that are paralyzed, but those with limited motor control, too, like my good friend Abe plus shampoo policy. I'm glad we could help you. We are going to apply for a patient to sell this technology and make this available to people around the world. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed our puppet show, the accelerometer controlled wheelchair.